Absolutely yes to that. Way too much doom and gloom. The problem is from the beginning of the media, beginning of social media, the internet, how to make a story go big is to project something that's gonna scare somebody or trigger somebody and get somebody to comment, somebody to get upset because that's gonna get comments out there that's gonna increase the algorithm that's gonna send things to the moon. All the news does is give us doom and gloom. Unfortunately, right now, I don't see a whole lot of positive things out there, but I would love to be able to share positive stuff. What if the news just put out positive news story? We look at the politics right now. I mean, the election's a big thing. The only thing we hear is what the other person's doing that is bad. We rarely hear of what the candidate's going to do that's good, that's going to help people. If we could focus on what's going to help people, it would definitely do well. I don't think that this, this negative fear mongering, this doom and gloom, this pressure on everything to be so terrible is healthy for anybody. A TikTok like this isn't going to change the stars. Like mine, I'm, I'm not going to make the difference. Collectively, we could start to turn the page if there were enough people to push that direction. But at the end of the day, media does what makes them money. What makes some money is people commenting, people interacting, people watching. And to do that, you got to do something to get them angry and upset. It's unfortunate that our mind doesn't say, oh, I like that. I'm going to keep watching. It does very once every once in a while if something's funny. But at the end of the day, doom and gloom sells. And that's why we see so much of it.